What's up Sega fans, it's Dan the Mega Driver here of the Sega Guys, here with another video about yet another mod from the Sega Saturn modding community. That's right, Bo Bales has come back again with something new. So you may have heard of the game Fighting Force. Fighting Force was a beat-em-up that came out originally on the PlayStation 1 and then had a port to the Nintendo 64. Now the story with this one is actually quite interesting. This was originally planned as the fourth Streets of Rage game, this time made by Core Design rather than in-house at Sega. Core Design pitched it as Streets of Rage 4. Sega greenlit it, but then Core Design then wanted to take it to the PlayStation, and obviously Sega weren't too happy about that. So Core Design had to rebrand it. Now originally the development was in progress for both the PlayStation and for the Sega Saturn. However, given the Saturn's flagging commercial performance by that stage, Core Design decided to shut the doors on the port. Now, we did actually get a view of this way back in 1997 on the Saturn Power Issue 1 demo disc, which came from Core Design. Now, you had Tomb Raider on there, you had Swagman, there was Blam Machine Head, and there was, of course, Fighting Force. Now, Fighting Force, at the time, was just a rolling demo. You couldn't actually play it, but you could watch it in motion, and it wasn't FMV. What was interesting about this is that it was all in-game. It was a rolling demo. So even though you couldn't play it, it was actually there, being rendered by the Sega Saturn. So what Bo has actually done is make this rolling demo actually playable on a Sega Saturn via this mod. Now you can find the mod details on Bo's post and via Sega Extreme. And via the Saturn Patcher, it's quite easy to enable and I'm here playing it on my real Sega Saturn via Fenrir. Now there are some notes on here. I've actually modded two versions of the Fighting Force demo via the core demo disc. And the reason why I've done that is because you need a patch for each level. There are actually two levels in the demo. During the rolling demo, it would actually cycle from one to the other over and over. But in order to play both demos, both levels that is, you do need to patch separate instances of the game. So every time that you patch one, you can't patch the other. So that's why I've got two versions of the demo disc. Now, you can fight on that, you can pick up weapons, you can defeat enemies, you can't walk into walls, or I say you can walk through walls, there's no actual collision detection, so you can walk on forever in this demo, it's quite amusing. Another thing to note is that there's no sound, there's no sound, and there wasn't any sound in the rolling demo, this may be an actual choice for the demo itself, I do actually really like the tune that plays in this, but that's by the by. So there's no sound, there's no collision detection with anything, as I say you can walk out of bounds, and when you beat the last enemy in a stage, either of the stages, then the game just freezes up. I don't know if there's meant to be some sort of transition to another stage, or a summary of your score, I can't remember, it's been that long since I played the PlayStation version of this game but you can just exit to the original game menu and reboot it again. And I did that to switch between the two level builds. You do have a couple of enemy types in here, most of them in suits, you have these other ones in stage two, kind of in the brown janitor costumes. Now what I do like about this is not only is this a newer version of Fighting Force up from the version that was on Hidden Palace, but it also plays really, really well. Now collision detection and bugs aside, it's really smooth. Funnily enough, it's smoother even than Tomb Raider. Now, Tomb Raider is on this demo disc as well and is notably a little bit more jerkier than the PlayStation original. But Fighting Force, Fighting Force actually plays really well. Now, I wonder if it's using VDP2 for the floor in some of these instances, but the game looks great. And I do like these original designs a lot more than the redesigns that we got later on in the actual retail release of the PlayStation and S64 games. It goes without saying that this is a single player only demo you can't play two-player just like you could do in the retail release of Fighting Force but it doesn't make it any less fun or interesting in fact it's fascinating to look at the game in this state that looks so polished and so close to what the retail release would be minor bugs aside it really begs the question is what other versions of Fighting Force for the Sega Saturn are there out there we've got the Hidden Palace prototype we've now got a playable version in this demo and just like Bo says there must be updated versions out there so hopefully Someone can track them down. Someone, whoever Core Design or Eidos are owned by these days, I'd love to be able to see a near final version of this game before it actually got canned. So here's hoping that someone comes forth with the goods because 
as a spiritual successor to Streets of Rage, it really does deserve to be played on a Sega console. So do yourselves a favor, check the link in the description below, check out Bell's work and enjoy this one because I know I had an absolute blast playing it. And hey, we'd love to hear your thoughts on the demo itself. So that's all from me. Until next time, we will see you on the Sega side.